Hello, coming to you live from my kitchen of the very spacious apartment that we have here behind somewhere. Uh, this is the first media blog. Hello, I'm Clark, and uh, you'll be seeing a lot of these because it's easier for me to make vlogs instead of typing things out because this is what I do. I, you know, I, I wouldn't say I enjoy being on camera. I like being behind the camera more, obviously, but um, I don't mind it at all. So uh, what have I been doing right now as far as media goes? Um, I just finished the documentary, Buy the Ticket, Take the Ride, which is um, a film about Hunter S. Thompson. And it's um, a film of his friends and critics and family members talking about him and his life and how insane he was and how good of a journalist he was. Um, Hunter S. Thompson founded or basically started Gonzo Journalism, which basically reports a story but puts the, the journalist himself inside the story and it kind of blurs the lines of fiction and truth and journalism, which, uh, you know, the whole, he, 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 he did it. He made it work. He made it famous. Um, so yeah, this is amazing. Uh, anybody, you know, I'm absolutely obsessed with Hunter S. Thompson. My middle name's Hunter for a reason. So is my father and everything. So yeah, uh, if you get a chance, uh, if you've seen Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, he wrote the book and, uh, the character that Johnny Depp plays is basically, uh, a uh, caricature of the real Hunter S. Thompson. So there you go. Uh, target audience is, it, uh, I would say, early 20s to about 35, 40. And, and really, early 20s on. Um, not a lot of kids really understand the impact that he's made on the world of journalism and literature. Uh, and, and, of course, younger kids, I don't think really should be around it because heavy, heavy, heavy drug use, uh, profanity. Uh, so it's, it's something that, you know, even, even people my age are sometimes offended by him and what he writes and the things he, he does. But if you just, if you understand it, if you get it, then, uh, you really get it. If you, there's, there's no gray, it's black or white. Um, so I would encourage anybody to check it out. It's absolutely amazing. Read any of his books, uh, movies, Absolutely amazing. Another thing, uh, a book that I've had from the library for about, I don't know, they're calling me every day for it, but I don't think they're getting it back, uh, is Ho Hotel La Chapelle. No, this is not Hotel La Chapelle. Yes, it is. Hotel La Chapelle. It is a photography book of the world-renowned photographer David La Chapelle. And he, he did uh, Britney Spears' Rolling Stone cover. He did Madonna's. I mean, there uh, here's Madonna, Eminem. Uh, it's it's very um, high color high color saturation fantasy images. Just crap that you would never. I mean, here you go, Cameron Diaz. What what is that? I don't know. But uh, he, very very inspiring. Uh, he, he puts out books and videos of his photography, and it's, it's, it's geared toward uh, older teens, early 20s, the, the artsy crowd, um, your, your run-of-the-mill uh, Southern Baptist Bible beaters are not going to understand um, the beauty and art behind Marilyn Manson in this photograph right here. They're just, they're not going to get it and, and really appreciate it. So it's a, it's a very, um, um, there's a small targeted audience, and but the people that do get it really get it, really appreciate it. Same thing with Hunter, uh, Hunter S. Thompson. Um, Dave LaChapelle was a, a big inspiration to me and one of the reasons I got into photography um, I absolutely love his work. I'm planning on going to his gallery in New York City this summer. So I'll let you know how that goes. Last but not least, is it does does anybody have one of these that works? Like I can't. 
No, mine definitely doesn't work. It comes onto that little Apple screen where it shows the Apple and that's it. Like, it won't go any further. Some people told me that um, that if you throw it on the ground, just like, you know, it'll work. Um, I definitely have not tried to take it apart. Uh, you know, target audience, anybody and everybody. Um, now, I mean... Let's get real. Nobody pays for music anymore. I don't. I don't. Yeah. You know, whatever. If there's an album or uh, CD that I that I actually like, I like the artist. I really like the band. I'll go buy the CD. Uh, him, Incubus, uh, Marilyn Manson, Muse. You know, people like that that I I've always loved. Uh, artists that I respect, and um, I will take the time and money to go buy their album, uh, just because I, I really want them, uh, to go make more music. Yeah, I'll, I'll spend the 20 bucks on the CD, but people, you know, these, <laughs> these rap songs that come along that are just the flavor of the week, uh, no, no, I'm gonna, sorry, BitTorrent, uh, LimeWire, uh, but anyway, I don't, you know, oh god, it's on, it's, oh, the wheel doesn't work. Nope, the wheel doesn't work. Piece it. If I just... I don't know. Uh, I'm going to bust this thing open. So uh, I'm going to go do that. And it is now 5.20 in the morning. And uh, I'll go ahead and conclude this. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.